Hello and welcome back to Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. We have four new custom courtiers, but before we get into that, I would like to say that this is the cutoff point for custom courtiers. No custom courtiers after this point. Reason being, um, basically I don't want to have any custom courtiers left over at the end of the series. End of the series is going to be hard capped at uh, 100 episodes and I don't want to have like people who only have them in for an episode or two. I want to just cut it here and uh, you know, we, we've got a list and when I reach the end of that list I will say like in a video, you know, I've reached the end of the list. If you thought you had a courtier, you know, submitted, please tell me and I'll add that one. Anyway. Our courtiers today have a little bit of a theme. They're all very bad at what they do. We have Gurner as Steel Scale, who um, claims that he goes out reaving. He's a great, you know, powerful warrior, but he's a little bit of a scaredy cat. He's not so bright, so everybody sees through his lies and uh, they call them out on it. And he has now been sent here to uh, become a better, um, become a better Ironborn. Let's call it, let's say that. We also have Githral uh, Votar. He's a uh, dishonorable squire who was over in Essos, but he has been cast away due to just be like he um, he didn't want to be a squire. He's uh, he wants to go reaving. He wants to do that kind of thing. He's a uh, he's not into the uh, you know squire night life. He wants to be you know he wants to be an Ironborn. Hasn't converted yet though, so I don't know. I don't know how committed he is. We also have Bob Bobber. Now, Bob Bobber owns a ship. Well, that's not true anymore. He owned a ship. That ship is now uh, somewhere in the bay near uh, Harlow Hill. And uh, he has decided to join our court as he doesn't really have a means of going anywhere else. We also have Arden Star. Arden Star was a septum. Well, I mean, technically, he still is a septum. However, um, the septums didn't look too well on the fact that he liked uh, visiting the local bro uh, brothels a little bit too much and pr visiting the local noble women as well. So um, they kicked him out of Old Town and he has decided to come over here where uh, his ways are maybe a little bit more accepted. Anyway, let's look at our troubles. We have many troubles. Many, many, many troubles. Mostly that uh, we did that really, really bad war. We have a lot of loans. It, we're a suspected bastard. It's not looking good for us. You know, if we die, we can just play as our son. He has, he has like 81 gold. I mean, he could almost pay off half a loan. He's also crippled, so it's not going too well. Who's our second heir? Uh, Vicon. Okay. Oh, I still have Charin for one. Oh, okay. Give it to that. But yeah, Vicken, he would be much better to play as, although he doesn't have any money, so we'd be in the same situation. Anyway, what have we got? Character actions. Go into hiding. Someone's trying to kill us, aren't they? Um, yeah, he, Turnberry's trying to kill us, but we can't do anything about it. Okay, we're not going to go into hiding, I don't think. We're not scared. Uh, Meldred of Lannisport, we can imprison. Probably not going to do that, because there's more men than us, and, that's, and he's also a member of our family. Yeah, okay. Well, I don't think there's much we can do beyond just uh, kind of waiting it out. I think that's what we're going to do. Well, we will continue waiting. Lord Meldred of Lannisport inherited the city of Lannisport from Commander Ulf of Lannisport. Alright, it's probably going to give it away again in a second. What was that? Oh, someone's keeping to uh, kill Brella. Okay, the Targaryen. Okay, uh, the Targaryen's still alive over here out of curiosity. No, they, I think they left, didn't they? they? They went somewhere else. They might even have gone to our court, which would be just be typical. Oh, Rayla the Dragon Tamer and Ares Targaryen had a, um, had a, uh, what's it called, daughter. And this would be a bastard daughter. Oh, but double Targaryen. Well, I think that's just a sign of who she should marry, really. Um, that just seems obvious, right? Is They are Targaryens after all. Uh, where is she? She's in the list somewhere. There we are. Uh, it would be a good union, pleasing to all vassals of the faith. There we are. It's an aunt and uh, a nephew. Typical, lovely Targaryen love. There we are. Uh, King Arson of Westeros formed an alliance with the Storm King, Gullion the Chase. Alright. 
Iron King Lancel of the Iron Isles declared Iron Irelander Westlander de Jure War over Great Wick on King Seren, the second of the Rock. Okay. Lord Adric, the realm is in a state of war and as such I, as your liege king, command that you provide men to support my armies. Regards, Lancel of House Lannister, Iron King of the Iron Isles. Well, what do we think about him? We absolutely despise him. What about our traits? We, um... Nothing here says that we're going to join him, so, um... You know... Nope. We're, we're going to be independent. Iron King Lancel of the Iron Isles is formed an alliance with King Arston of Westeros. Oh, so the Iron Isles, Westeros, and the Stormlands have a linked alliance. Oh, that's worrying. Uh, we need to pick a new ambition. What was our ambition? Because... Hmm, interesting. Maybe our ambition... Oh, our ambition was probably become friends for a leisure or something ridiculous like that. Anyway. Um, we probably want to go either for, like, something like Paragon of Virtue, Exhausted Amongst Men, build a war chest, maybe. Um, adopt a lifestyle. I guess... I don't know. We're patient. We're a family person. Arbitrary, diligent, chaste, and charitable. I guess maybe we want to be a paragon of virtue. Kind of goes for a charitable, chaste, and uh, diligent things. Like, we have three virtues. That's, I guess that's kind of what we've got going on for us. Right, and we could go raiding with our men that we do actually have. Cool. So, raise up our men. Let's raise up our boats. And let's set all the men uh, as raiders. There we go. Toggle looter, toggle looter, toggle looter. Get on the boats, get on the boats, get on the boats. Grab all the boats. And where do we want to go? Where's at war? We know that the Westlands are at war. Westeros is at war with uh, the Westeros Sea Provosity to your war over Claw Isle. There's a lot of... There's some good stuff over in... Uh, in Bravos that we could maybe go get. Yeah. So let's go... Let's go on an adventure. We're going to go to Bravos. Let's head all our men over... Let's head here. And then we'll see where we want to go. We had in-command happen to us. Uh, we're leading our... Um, our willing troops in the far sea. So we're actually leading our own armies for once. Right? Um, where, where, where's our other boat? There we are. Let's actually just get the boats to merge up first, because I want to see where, wh who's leading what army. King Arston of Westeros has formed an alliance with King Saren, the second of the Rock. Now that's interesting, because uh, he's now formed an alliance with both sides of the war. Uh, there we go. Uh, we are indeed leading one of these. Okay, I'm fine with that. Daenerys and Rala leading the other two, so two dragon riders and us. Yeah, one of us seems like the odd one out there. Uh, do we want to be in the center, because we've got Organizer? Yeah, I think we want to be in the center. So we'll take the center and Daenerys can take that side. There we are. We're still going over to uh, Bravos. I don't know what map mode I opened there, but it was definitely interesting. It was probably like one of the trade ones. Okay. Right. Let's go get us our money back. I mean, I just realized we, t we took a loan from the Iron Bank and my first thought is, hey, let's go raid Bravos. Let let's go get it back. Okay, well, we'll see. Uh, let's see what they got up here. So they... Probably one of these... Prob was not one of these that's like 50. No, but there is one that's four, 45 in there. Although there's 50, uh, 8.5. That's what we're after. Yeah, the Bravosi Shore. My courtier, Kozar of Nath, has expressed a desire to get married and has asked for my permission to find a suitable spouse. Marry as you please. He has indeed found a suitable spouse. Alright. Let's drop our raider. Oh, wait, how many men is that? Oh, that's too many men. That's way too many men. Cancel. Uh, okay, so they have some men prepared for this. Let's go further down. They don't, might not have any men this side of the shore. Doesn't look like it. Looks like we're pretty safe to siege it. There we go. Oh, auto save. And it's okay. Right, and we just want to grab as much as we can here. And then the moment an enemy army comes, 
we uh, scarf her. There we go. Keep grabbing our stuff. Keep grabbing our stuff. Sigorn of the Mountain Clansmen's Liberation Revolt is the liberation of the Iron uh, of the Giant's Lands on uh, King Lancel of the Iron Isles. Oh, so the Mountain Clansmen uh, Revolt is where? I assume it's kind of here-ish, but uh, yeah, I guess that would make sense in the mountains. Right. Oh, we want to get out of here. I just realized what all these boats are doing here. A daughter was born to Jerry Jerry and Gazella named Zelazara. She's sickly. Alright. Get out of there. Don't want to be anywhere near those boats. Wow, we can hold a lot of loot here. Uh, we could go raiding the Vale, but that seems like a really bad idea if we're going to go back under the Vale in a minute. Let's uh, sneak into Westeros here. My lord, my scheming Harla Hill has borne fruit. I have discovered a plot where Hotho Serpentail seeks to rescue Rala Serpentail from Lord Uric's captivity. We could righteously imprison him for that if we wanted. I don't really want to, but we could. Um, right, Ironborn longships cut through the water swift and sure. Hence, we have successfully pursued a small merchant fleet. If we were to attack and pay our iron price for the cargo, we would gain much more. Am I on a reaving, or is this just something you get if you're on the boat? Like, as a leader of the army? Well, let's attack. Okay. Leader of the navy, I guess. Well, you're leading the army on the boats. The fleet was fairly well defended. We lost a few men seizing their ships as well as taking some damage to our longships. But in the end, no one can resist our ironborn reavers. And much cargo was when many captives were taken. Very nice. Right, now we're looking for places here that just have a lot of free places to nick money from. Yeah, if we go right in the center, we can do, right? I thought we were like able to go along these rivers here. Only that far, huh? Hmm. I think I did that last time. Is Pentos at war? Nope. Mir? Oh, Mir's at war? Okay. Yeah, let's get down to Mir. Let's see if we can steal there. If there's any good loot. So that's a larger. Oh wow, look at the amount we can take here. If we could actually land on Mir, if we let this army go away. Oh, what's this? Do you wanna. Do we wanna ransom um, Lord Uric Kenning? He is a different religion from us. He is also possessed. He's also not our family, so. And we don't have a lot of money, but we are charitable. I guess we're charitable. Prepare to be released. I really want to land on Mir and just take all their money, so I'm just going to wait. Just a little bit. Septim Argrave has stood the Faith of the Seven Revolt against King Arsene of Westeros on King Arsene of Westeros. And then it ended inconclusively. Okay. Uh, I guess he switched to Faith of the Seven. Let this one get away. Like the 2nd of May, it will move to uh, Byloth and then we want to land on Mir. Your friend Clayton was long thought dead. His ship struck down by the, the storm god whilst at sea. Yet here he is now, striding through your hall. And he has changed. He is wearing rough spun robes, carrying a driftwood cudgel. He says he was drowned, and yet the drowned god chose to spare him. He will now devote his life to serving him. While well, his dead may never die, but rises again, harder and stronger. Clayton Goldwine is now drowned. Okay. Now, does this mean that he could be our drowned man if we potentially wanted? We could, but we already have a uh, area on uh, Gale Venice, so we don't need that. Uh, we're gonna land here, I think. Yeah, they didn't change direction. Just want to siege as much as we can. We actually have enough to actually totally siege it down, which is brilliant. The Reaving Party has been roving the coast, but local patrol spotted us and is attacking. Being Ironborn, we shall of course meet this challenge, but the leader of their band stands before me with one, one thought, to kill me. Of course we're going to duel. Dueling with Joss, who is in Mir. Yeah, okay, so you can get the um, you can get the Reaving events even if you're not... Ah, uh, okay, so you can get them manually. That's cool. Uh, you and Joss, slowly, I like it, it's uh, also... We're like 70 episodes in at this point. You can get the reaving events manually as the Ironborn. You would have thought I would learn that earlier. Okay, it's dual skill multiplier of two. We have a dual skill multiplier of four. It's gonna be tough. We circle each other, tense and focused. You scan him for any sign of weakness. Any opening is the spot you in any opening in his defense you could possibly exploit. 
Let's uh, wait for him to make a mistake. You see a weak spot. A vulnerability in Joss's defense. It's not much, but it's all you need. You easily break through his guard, knock him to the ground. He lies sprawled at your feet, completely at your mercy. He drops his we weapon. Throws up his hands. Yield! I yield. What do we do? We're charitable. Oh, uh, I guess it's the most chivalrous trait. I guess we accept. The fight is over. Joss lies defeated. You have won. We will continue sieging. If we actually siege this down, we get all the loot. Which is lovely. Right now, we're getting a ton of loot. But getting all the loot would be much better. My liege, do you my listen... My liege, my mission to Landsport has so far been a success. During my visit to the court of Lord Meldred of Landsport, I've managed to make him understand what benevolent and peaceful ruler you really are in his senses of regards. Your humble just guard, Lord Urus. Perfect. He likes us a little bit more. That's nice. Continues to grab some more of this. At age 64, Jerry Jerry died a natural death. His, uh, he has two daughters and a wife left here, but no sons. So the Jerry line may be doomed. We'll see if his uh, rival, Gary Gary, will do any better. Right. Uh, have we got all the... We've got all the base amount of money from here. Yeah. Which is quite nice. That should all be on our boats now. Yeah, we've got almost half of our boats capacity. I think we're going to keep sieging. There's another 50 we can get here. And uh, the siege isn't going to take that long. Mm, he is gathering men to beat us up, though. Oh, we actually won the siege. Wow. Okay. I guess one of the dragons must have done something. We looted 200 ducats from there. Okay. My lord, the leader is not there. Well, of course, we'll take all of their uh, people with us, then. Mira has fallen to a band of reavers. Perhaps I should claim assault wife. So, um, do we want to take uh, Kara, the Kinslayer, who has slain someone of her... She's dishonorable, slain one of her kin, favored by Rylor. Or should I take Torma Regan, who I like the look of, apparently. Or should I uh, take On Onyaya to our ship? I think we're going to take uh, Quara, the Kinslayer. She is the only noble one here, and uh, she's interesting. Which basically puts her above everyone else. We will uh, have her. Right. She is now our salt wife. Perfect. Uh, I think it's time to leave, uh, Mir. If I'm honest with you, I think we got everything we're going to get here. We also have a full capacity load. Well, I guess we have to go back now. Like, we, we literally have everything we could possibly want from that raid. That's fantastic. We also have some prisoners. Yeah. What are we going to do with the prisoners? Well, we now take them for salt wives. I think. Yes. Or we can drown them. Which is definitely another option. Or we could perhaps sell them back. What do we want to do? We're diligent. We're arbitrary. Uh, we're patient. We're chaste. So actually, we're. I probably shouldn't have taken the first salt wife. But we're not going to take any others. Um, I guess what we're going to do is we're going to just ransom them all back. Yeah. Here we go, one at a time. Just go for it. Uh, yep. The rest are all being, are all busy. At age 88, Demodor Targaryen died a natural death. He used to control Dragonstone. He had no wife left to, uh, to mourn him. But he has... As he has a couple of daughters left, and he had a son who had his own family, and he, you know, the Targaryen line from uh, Demodor is they it, it spreads out quite a lot, it, it, like an awful lot here. See, all of this strengths on this one guy here. Although I also think it loops, yeah, it also loops background on itself, so it's not actually as big as it looks. The rest of the Targaryens, they're pretty much dead. Yeah, I didn't add any of those. Those were in the game to start with. Right. My prisoner, Trigger Nala, is complaining about his dark cell and dungeons, asking for more suitable accommodation. We're just going to let him rot. We're going to ransom him in a minute. There we go. We'll take our money. We'll start ransoming some more of them. I mean, he, he got ransomed uh, 
right the moment after his event. It's fine. Continue ransoming them back. To the glorious Lord Adric. May you live in harmony and contentment. I accept your paying of the ransom. He, he understands the way this is meant to work. We go there. We raid him. We He pays a set ransom amount. 10 gold per uh, person. And he's quite willing to pay it. There we go. My lord, I, Guthral Votar, sincerely ask that I be allowed to pursue a career at the Citadel in Old Town. Sure, if that's what you want to do. He has decided to be a... Uh, he's gone from squire to I want to be a reaver to I want to be a... Uh, career, have a career in, uh, you know... What was that? Did he say Old Town? Yeah, oh, the Citadel. Is he going to be a maester or a septum? Oh, he's Valyrian, so... Maester. That, that makes a lot of sense. But yeah, he's uh, he doesn't know what he wants to do. At age 18, Lord Paramount Edmore II of the Vale died in battle against Sigorn of the Mountain Clansman Liberation Revolt. Wow, so Liberation Revolt killed someone. I see he killed the leader, and now it's uh, up to Lord Paramount Andros of the Vale, who is still a child. Okay. So Sigrun was also the leader of the revolt. So there's 9,000 troops against the 22,000, but he has already killed, uh, you know, the previous leader of the uh, of the Vale. That's pretty impressive. Travelers bring rumors of fire and blood. They say that dragons live once more and that Otheris Sunblast now rides Predarian into battle. All right, sure. My young cousin has finished her education in bookkeeping and administration. It seems she has learned all the basic skills required. Very good. Carry on there. We're about to get so much gold. At age 52, Robin Aaron died of the pox. But the Aaron line lives on. Giles Aaron st is still there. And he is the only living Aaron. He is currently in uh, Iron Oak's uh, court. We just got so much gold and so much prestige. I think it's time to pay off our loans. Uh, there we go. We'll repay this loan. That's the Iron Bank paid back. We can't pay back our vassal yet, though. Okay. Well, I mean, we might as well just go out again, right? But that seems like a thing to do next time. Thank you for watching. I'll see you then. Goodbye.